Avani, give us a sense, so you're in Delhi, of the intensity of this current heat wave. Bev, to give you a bit of a visceral example, we no longer need hot water systems here in Delhi because the pipes are heating up so much that when you turn the cold water on, it, it's too hot to touch. This country has seen record-breaking heat temperatures across the last couple of months and the intensity and the early timing of this heat wave is like nothing that's seen before in the 120 years that India has been recording temperatures. So people are really suffering day to day and it is people from poorer backgrounds who are mainly facing the brunt of this. I'm among the 13% of Indian households lucky enough to have access to air conditioning and that just shows you such a large proportion of this country is facing this heat wave and dealing with these temperatures without much to abate that situation. And it's the people who are day to day out in the streets working 24-7 labourers, food vendors, people who are forced to stay outside in order to make money who are facing the brunt of these hot temperatures. The last seven days in New Delhi alone, we've seen temperatures of above 40 degrees. Right now, the sun's setting, it's getting into the evening and it's still 40 degrees as I'm talking to you now. And that just shows you that there is little reprieve, even overnight, when usually you would be able to cool down. So it has been a very difficult few days for people in this country. And as you mentioned, Bev, power supply has now become the next issue. Because of the Ukraine war, India was struggling with coal imports. Coal is its major power supplier. And now because people are using their air cons so much through this heat wave, electricity demand is at a record high for April and that has led to a coal shortage as well as power outages across the country. Yeah, you know when you talk about that kind of heat and only 13% having access to some sort of cooling devices, how do people cope? People have different strategies to deal with this. Some people in uh, poorer neighbourhoods, in slums, are wetting white blankets. They're putting them up around their houses to absorb some of that heat, especially overnight. But there have been some state governments which have put in forced measures in order to help people deal with the heat wave in Karnataka, in the south of the country, which is also dealing with intense humidity at this time of the year. Uh, school uh, People are forced to take breaks from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. In the state of Odisha, which is further north, schools have been shut for the week because of these intense temperatures given chalk to put white on their tin roofs in order to deal with the, some of those temperatures. But there are concerns from researchers that not enough is being done on a national level from the Indian government. The Indian government, although it does deal with heat waves year on year. It hasn't seen heat waves this early in the year, in the March, April, and now the early May situation. It usually comes towards the end of May and June. And there have been warnings and concerns from researchers saying that India needs a national plan to deal with these heat waves to ensure that hospitals have enough stocks to help people with health concerns as a result of this situation. To give you an example of how severe heat waves can be, in 2015 in India, Year, more than 2,000 people died as a result of hot temperatures. So there are concerns about the health consequences here as well. Yeah, that would be that that death toll alone would be terrible. And what about you know you're talking about the the coal shortages? What broader economic impact is this having? Well, aside from the coal issue, Bev, and there has been a push from researchers for India to decarbonise, to move to more renewable energies, but the Modi government has said that it needs support from international industrial countries, including like Australia, if it is to do that as a developing nation. But aside from that issue, the second biggest export for India is wheat. And wheat exports have been in high demand, again, since the Ukraine war and food 
shortages to do with that. So India is trying to plug that gap while also trying to feed its population domestically. But these intense and hot temperatures have led to crops, wheat crops dying across the country, leading to economic losses for farmers in rural areas as well. So there are concerns about what effects that will have long term when an entire season's crop has been destroyed due to this situation. Yeah, Avani. Terrible uh, and probably not a lot of end in sight. Good to talk and stay safe and cool as much as you can. Thanks, Bev.